Hey, so I'm really aware that my channel lacks focus. It needs direction. It needs like a, a path to follow or an ultimate goal or whatever. And currently I actually don't have that. Shimmy Cash, me, this channel is just basically me talking about whatever I feel like is important to me. Um, it's important to note the ultimate goal of this channel is not to get likes and subscribers and shit. It's really just like a tool for me to talk and upload and really just speak my mind about what I feel like sharing with the world. You know, so there's no actual currently <laughs> this may change in the future but currently there's no actual uh objective to my uploads here if, if you guys go look through my archive hit the videos button or whatever on the channel you'll see my uploads are all very 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 random i mean random as could be some of them are even movie clips cartoons comics video games might be a video of me running, exercising, working out, behind the scenes, girls' videos from shoots, uh, just playing around here at the store, anything. It could be anything, totally random uh, facets of my daily life, basically. And I do this just for me. I'm, I'm not, you know, I want to share this shit with people, but I don't really care whether 10 people see it or 10, bi 10 million billion people see it. Like I say over and over again, I've got 300 million plus people that watch my other channel, my adult channels and stuff like that. So it's not like I have a fetish for eyes on me. This is just my own time for like my me time, basically. Most of the time when I pick up my camera and the gear using to do this stuff, it's for commercial reasons. It's for, for profit purely, you know, for fun and for profit. But it's like... You know, it's like a t I, look, I look at my camera as a tool that I unbox and piece together and hook up all these lights and duct tape and tripod and shit you guys don't see behind the thing right now. I hook this stuff up for an ultimate purpose and usually I have to spend large amounts of money to recoup anything at all. <laughs> Sometimes, you know what I mean? So when I actually get to do recreational things like talk in front of the camera like this and do these little, you know, free-for-all uploads to YouTube, it's just my way of really playing with my equipment, giving back a little something, and sharing a small part of myself with the world or whatever. Be it ideas, jokes, you know, my fitness routine, what vitamins I'm trying, my favorite shoe, my favorite places, what I think about so-and-so, whatever uh, might be on my mind that I feel like sharing, basically. Yeah, so uh, I bring this up now, now that you guys know this. Uh, my actual short-term goal for this channel is just to get 1,000 subscribers so that I have the ability to go live and that way I could actually interact with you people back and forth. I bring this up because I know there's a lot of like lurkers with this channel. I know anytime you do anything that's remotely adult related or whatever, uh, a lot of people they won't join or subscribe or like or comment on your channel because they don't want to be you know, associate it with, you know, filthy people like me, even though you watch all my content, etc, etc. So I can kind of understand if you don't subscribe in this and that. I looked at my counter, there's like only 350 something subscribers. So I'm only like one third of the way to go until I get the thousand and I can do live, uh, whatever they call it, live chats or super chats or whatever, and actually interact with you people, you other, you people, you other 350 people that whatever might send messages and shit to me all day, all night, asking me question after question. You can do that in real time once I get the subscribers up there, and I'll be happy to come on here at least once a week and do this. There's a lot of Q&A. There's probably a lot of people that I could help or benefit if I'm able to do live, uh whatever they call this thing, YouTube Live, I guess they call it or whatever. So that's really my only short-term goal. And this is not something that I can purchase or whatever. It's just like I have to meet some 
thousand subscriber criteria to do so you know so whatever so basically my point is if you're like a long time lurker or whatever on the channel man give me a subscribe or make make up a damn ghost account or some shit and then give me a subscribe at least to push me up to this level so i could do these little live interactive chats or whatever i don't have time to have 300 people uh dming me and shit asking me like uh hey bro what about the girls here and uh how could i be in the movies too and what is this and this and this and what's your opinion on this and the so-and-so you know you guys could ask me all that in real time and get your answers and responses just like that and i wouldn't mind doing this i do this for like an hour a day or i should say an hour a week or whatever for uh for whatever that, that, that's fine by me but i could i could reach more people this way and uh i think actually be more useful to the internet and the world in general if i get this little small thing up there so that's really my only ultimate goal. I like to interact with you people. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't consider myself a superstar or no shit like that. But I do have certain fans. I do have people that care about what I think. And some people that look up to me and shit like that. And I'll be more than happy to share some of my time with you in a live whatever thing. Versus otherwise y'all gonna have to wait two, three weeks. Maybe two months. Maybe almost a fucking year before I can go to look through the comments and get back to them when i'm able to do so because i'm you know i'm traveling i'm busy i'm doing shit but i will get back to you if you give me some of your time i'll give you some of my time back but it's just it's got to come around to it you know what i'm saying so please if you haven't already do the subscribe thing i think the like things are good but subscribers are better i need to get up to a thousand so i could do this so that's really like the ultimate <laughs> shit man pretty much the ultimate goal of the shimmy show is so that i could talk shimmy shimmy cash can talk real time to you folks back and forth if you got something to talk about or whatever that's just one thing that i would like all right so now i'm gonna do something and go through my little youtube studio and do some comment answering why not few more minutes here again i'd like to do this shit in real time or whatever so uh most recent comments terrell denton one day ago on the video why native american indians are asians part two it's another one uh anyway dude says hey I, I i aspire to be like you when i'm 40 you a real one i'm a real one <laughs> I'm 42 now, actually. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, that's good to know that people aspire to be like me. The shit, man. That's that's awesome. I feel like I I feel like I'm a good pattern, template, paradigm, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I would I would emulate myself if I could, <laughs> but I don't have to. But you know what I'm saying? I I feel good that motherfuckers will look up to me as like somewhat of a role model or at least somebody that's already cut a path and probably done some of the shit that he wants to do i mean he didn't give me any actual details about anything but uh you know just he just summed it up you know he aspires to be like me and i'm a real one thank you so much mr terrell all right um the next comment uh if i have inspired any of you by the way please let me know because otherwise i don't know it depends on who you ask man some people think i'm crazy etc so it's good to hear that some people aspire to be like me i must be doing some good positive shit in the world you understand what i'm saying yeah all right next comment on uh huh. as always ask jimmy how i got started in the porn industry part two uh stefan Oe Drago. I don't know if I said that correctly. It might be an Italian or a French name. I'm not sure. Um, or a Latin name. Uh, very informative. Any tips on where to find and how to hire models when I'm in DR? Where to find models and how to hire them? Well, most of them have been my friends or ex-girlfriends or just local girls or whatever. I mean... <laughs> This is something I really want to discuss here. I mean, really, really, man, every girl is a model. If you have a camera, you're literally, if you have a camera and a girl, <laughs> photographer, model, I mean, you have everything you need in the room. You know, just like I have the equipment right now that I'm using, a camera, a light, and a microphone. You don't even really need a microphone, but it helps. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's really all that you need, man. Um, don't, don't think that quote unquote models are like some other species of girl every girl is a model the girl at the grocery store the girl at the corner store the girl at the bus stop the girl in the taxi your whatever cleaning lady massage lady your 
nurse, you're this, you're that, whatever. They can all be models, and they all are potential models. It, it depends. I mean, it's a uh, mo model is a job, okay? I'm a fucking model. That doesn't mean shit. You could be a model. If you stand in front of a camera and you take pictures, you're a model. If you get paid, I guess if you got to get paid for it to be a model or whatever, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, every some people are aspiring models. Most girls like to take pictures. That's what they do all goddamn day. Click, 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 click. I don't understand it personally or whatever, but you shouldn't try to think so, uh, how you say, rigidly inside of a box. Like, I mean, like you're going to go to a modeling agency and pick through a catalog. That's one method of doing it, I suppose. I, I, my personal method was just to just go with people that I already know. I didn't necessarily have to go out of my way to find models. I mean, I just moved to an apartment there and most of the time girls just knocked on the door, etc. You know, because I'm a foreigner gringo in town and it sounds by the sound of your name, you're probably a foreigner too. Girls in Dominican Republic love foreigners. They love to take their money too and exploit them, etc. But they love to have a good time with them too. So I mean, it's a uh, this goes for this applies to every country really too. It's not just DR, but I mean, yeah, man. There's no central model location or booking house or whatever. I'm not certain what country you come from or whatever, but things just are not like that there. It's a very open society there, and if you have money, hint, hint, wink, wink models like money um yeah make sure you have yourself a decent camera etc etc and uh don't forget the money man I'll, uh, dude a lot of guys really overthink or underthink the, the most obvious thing Mo okay look when i hire models i have to pay them usually a substantial amount of money and there's model releases and contracts and 2257 and forms and all this kind of shit or whatever. But the most important thing is I have to put cash money in that girl's hand in order to go along with the program of whatever I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? You can't just use people and not pay them. Okay? There's a lot. I say this because there's a lot of like quote unquote uh, not freelance photographers. What are they called? The motherfuckers. Uh, TF. Girls tell me about this shit all the time. The girls will say they're from like Model Mayhem or Craigslist or some shit oftentimes to me and they'll tell me the last guy that filmed them or whatever he had a fucking Nikon camera red flag and also he did something called TFP which stands for time for prints or something which is some sounds like the, some of the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of but basically in exchange for studio time or some guy taking their pictures or whatever the girl does it in lieu of compensation just to get a copy of her own pictures or whatever I don't think this is fair at all, actually. It's it's a scam, I think, actually, that a lot of uh, a lot of dudes that just want to meet chicks or whatever, they'll go buy a cheap, low-end camera, like a Nikon or a Sony or something like that. Not a real Canon or whatever. That's usually a good red flag right there. They'll get some entry-level-ass equipment, some cheap lights, and call themselves a photographer just so they can meet up with quote-unquote model material girls or whatever and photograph them, you know, for... A lot of times it might be soft core shit, you know, I've seen a lot of girls with their little portfolio where they have their little swimsuit or some jeans on or something and I could tell they weren't compensated for it because I know nobody's going to pay for that shit, you know what I'm saying? People in my, in my world that I come from, people pay for porn, they pay, they, they you know, they pay for that nudity, etc, etc, you know what I'm saying? And it's... You know that that soft core shit. I don't know how people sell it. Actually, I, I don't. I don't really understand how it's possible to monetize it. So, yeah, yeah. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. you a lot of you know a lot a lot of people they look at they look at my catalog of work, my movies and shit like that, and series, and they think that it's like just that easy. Maybe I just make it look that easy, and you don't realize it took years of me doing this and living on the ground and shooting content and all the, you don't know all the side stories and ins and outs it took to make all those movies, man. So shooting movies, especially in DR or any other like so-called third or second world country, is a different ball game than North America and whatever you might be used to, man. There's all kind of shit that you might not anticipate happening or whatever that probably will happen, so... You understand what I'm saying? You know, it's like you understand the risk of what you're doing. You know, if if you looked at all my videos or whatever and you you think that you're smarter than me and more capable than me, etc. And you could do a better job than me, then by all means, go ahead. Please succeed me. Pass the torch, brother man. But it's like overall, just remember, you know, you, again, even if you did go through the shit and copy everything that I did there, you're still not me. Yeah, and that, that's, that varies a lot because it's saying that, I'm not saying that your movies won't sell or whatever, but 
I kind of have that niche on lock, okay? You know, they, they look at my shit as like the original shit, etc., etc. Um, I have no idea what genre of content you're filming there, but I mean, it's like you have to remember if this is going to make money and you're going to get your money back, it has to be in a category that's, you know, viable for you to fucking do it in. You know what I'm saying? And that's, you know, you can probably do it, but you got a lot to learn. Okay?